Welcome back. Now, Earth is currently being battered by the strongest solar storm since 2005, and NASA has warned that the hot gas particles could disrupt satellites, air travel and GPS navigation. Kieran Jenkins has this explanation. This is Tuesday on the surface of the sun. An enormous eruption spits tons of plasma into space and heading towards Earth, the fiercest solar storms for seven years. It's not often we stop to think about what might actually be happening up there, but that may soon change when it starts to affect our lives down here. The kind of solar storm that's going on today has the power to bring to a halt everything that's happening around us. The storms are caused by massive blasts on the sun's surface. Billions of charged particles are thrust into the solar system. They collide with the Earth's magnetic field and are drawn to the poles. But a surge can disrupt airline navigation systems and cause electricity networks to be shut down. In extreme cases, satnavs become unreliable and train signals can change spontaneously. But because of their relatively short frequency, mobile phones should be unaffected. Watching closely for anything amiss, scientists at the University College London. They know we've never been better protected. They also know we've never been more vulnerable. It's something that's grown with time. We've become more and more bound up with technology. The technology that we had 10 years ago was far, far less vulnerable. If you go back 20 years, most of the subsystems would not have been affected. And sure enough, in London today, the lights didn't go out. No sign here of the power shutdown that brought the city of Quebec in Canada to a standstill in 1989. But there's still, though, a one in eight chance of a devastating solar storm in the next 12 years. You, we, we may ride through you know, dozens that don't affect us, and then one may suddenly have a, a catastrophic effect on us. So um, I wouldn't say there isn't a danger, but normally the danger is, is small. There's a slight chance, too, that some of us tonight will see something like this. Thanks to the solar storm, the northern lights may be visible in parts of Scotland and the north of England. On a day when the sky didn't fall in, it might still put on a show. Karen Jenkins, tonight's main news, the families of the six British soldiers killed in a roadside bomb attack in Afghanistan have spoken of their grief. Five of the six were 21 or younger. They died when their warrior armoured vehicle was blown up by a massive improvised explosive device in Helmand province. Liam Dutton has news of more conventional solar activity next. And you can chat to us both on Twitter or you can check online channel4.com forward slash news. And uh, we're back tomorrow at 7. Until then, from Cathy and from me, that is Channel 4 News. Good evening.